right, just checking to see who's joining in. We've got Michael, we've got Steve Chapman, we got Mr. Shadows, Moko, Rahab, Doyle, Tazzy. Uh, we got 17 people in the house. We are in the lobby of the hotel in New Orleans, Louisiana, and we are just about to depart for the airport. And yes, no, uh, David's in the house. Hi, David. Uh, so we had a great time here in New Orleans. We are flying out at, I think it's one o'clock in the afternoon, flying back over to Houston. Uh, yeah, sad times, I know, Doyle. Hey guys, we have Smokey in the house. We have, can't read that one. We have, unfortunately I gotta put it really close to my face <laughs> to, to read your names. I think I forgot to turn up my, uh, my brightness. I can't do that right now while I'm videotaping. Uh, what's up, greetings from Kuwait. Cool. What does one o'clock in the morning people mean? Uh, when I was, uh, a lot of people, when I would put up my video, a lot of people in Europe would email me and they say, why do you always put these up at one o'clock in the morning when I'm hungry? <clears throat> and I got so many emails that I started shouting them out because uh, I felt sorry for them that they had to watch my video at one o'clock in the morning when they were starving. And uh, so that's where the one o'clock in the morning came from. So thanks for asking. It's 1 a.m. 1 a. here in Australia, see? I'm launching this and it's one o'clock. So this is for all my one o'clock in the morning periscopers. There you go. Uh, somebody says, oh, the Muffaletta. We actually saw one yesterday uh, on Bourbon Street. It was all wrapped up. Uh, it's just a sandwich with different kinds of meat on it and cheese. Greetings from Philly. We got New Zealand. It's 3 a.m. Friday, New Zealand. Uh, yeah, it's Thursday here. I don't even know what time it is. No clock. I think it's like a 10:30 uh, or quarter after 10, something like that. We're just waiting for the shuttle. We have somebody from New York, and that would be Pimp, Pimp, <laughs> Pimp in the house. I don't know. Uh, it's 6 p.m. in Bahrain, Bahrain, Algeria. Uh, Air Canada non-stop flight to Toronto. That will be tomorrow. Uh, I didn't really, because the GameCon VIP'd me and flew us from Toronto to Houston, I felt it was only appropriate to fly out of Houston because they're paying for the flight for Carol and I, which is amazing. Uh, and I didn't want to say, well, I, won't, you know, I want you to play, pay to go there and I want you to pay from here. Technically, going back in time, I would like to have done a puddle jump, so I'd fly from Toronto to whatever airport, would fly into Galveston, then fly from Galveston over to New Orleans, and then fly from, fly from New Orleans straight home. And that would be our direct flight. That would have been the most sane thing to do. Uh, but technically, this is kind of cool. We get to fly back to Houston, stay in Houston for the night, uh, get in some Houston grub. Uh, you guys have been begging me to do Chick-fil-A for a long time. I'm hoping there's a Chick-fil-A somewhere close to our hotel. We haven't even booked a hotel yet in Houston, so we don't even know where we're staying. People are writing now, what's a roadie? A, ro a roadie is somebody who f follows a band and does all their sound checks and all that kind of stuff. But a roti, R-O-T-I, is um, a Trinidadian, West Indian, basically like a large flat bread pita thing and then you put in a curry based chicken with, with uh, potatoes and you roll it all up and that's a roti. I'm not sure if you're referring to my don't leave us. And that was from Lit Tony and then we have Anus from Algeria. We got 45 people in the house. Look at all those hearts pouring in. You guys are rocking with the hearts, by the way. I just saw a, a, a periscope of uh, another YouTuber who lost all their hearts. So they got so many hearts that either periscope reset them to zero. And uh, so, poor Matthew. Did you eat crawfish? Nope, missed out on crawfish once again. I'll have to do that in September. Yeah, Matt Santoro lost his. 
Oh, I'm wondering how they're going to, again, this is all in beta right now, I believe, uh, this program, so it's only going to get better. They're going to have to work out some of the bugs, like what just happened. Keep up the good work from Israel. Thank you. Something about a TV show, guys. I, I missed that comment. Um, yeah, I was saying in my vlog that you guys will see hopefully tonight or tomorrow uh, that this hotel was, do you see the front desk there? The water was like up to there in this hotel. Uh, so it was about three feet, three and a half feet deep in this area after the Katrina flood uh, hurricane. Is uh, Ben, uh, do you know about the TV show NCIS? No, I don't. Where are you? I am in New, uh, New Orleans, Louisiana with Carol, my wife. It's our anniversary today. Yes, it is. It is our 21st anniversary. And uh, just keep checking for my shuttle. I don't want to anger the shuttle driver because you don't want to do that. And JP says, congrats. Brent says, NOLA. Took me a while to figure out what NOLA was last time I was here. Rob says, damn. Uh, NCIS is one of the top, America's top dramas. Oh, cool. Uh, Gibbo, congrats. Uh, everybody's saying congrats. Thank you very much. Uh, have you spoke to... Yes. Uh, I, I sent Pete, um, Furious Pete, a text message and wished him all the luck in the world said uh, he's the strongest guy I know and he's gonna kick this thing in the butt uh, happy anniversary from Brett ninja says happy happy anniversary VV says or Vivi says it's probably VV isn't it congrats what's wrong with Pete Pete uh, had testicular cancer beat it uh, and six months later, it's come back into his lymph nodes in his chest. And so he's going through um, radiation treatment as opposed to chemotherapy. So Pete isn't doing so well right now, which is a shame. John says, hi, Ken. Uh, Dwix has, uh, stands for Naval Criminal Investigation Service. Nice. Uh, Gibbo says, do you ski, Ken? I water ski and I snow ski, but I haven't snow skied in a long time. Um, I really liked uh, snowboarding for a very long time, probably like 15, 20 years I snowboarded. How about collab with Matthew Santoro, you eat the food and he gives some facts, that would be cool. Get on that, let him know that I'm in, since you know him. I don't know. I've met him a couple times, uh, just through VidCon and stuff. It is a Navy version of FBI. Okay. Pete is an inspiration. Yes, he is. That's from Brett or Brent. All right, guys. So uh, we'll let you go. I'll probably do another Instagram from the airport if we have time. I mean, sorry. Uh, uh, Periscope, Instagram. He's a great YouTuber. Oh yeah, Brent, Brenta Hamilton. He's a great YouTuber. Uh, what's your favorite kind of Nola? Can oh, sorry, I missed it. Oh, two questions I missed. Yikes! What was my favorite part of New Orleans? It, the riverboat uh, thing was absolutely amazing, and Bourbon Street is great. You can go there like almost every night. At least once a week, you could probably go. If you lived in this area, you could go there once a week for just see what's going on, see all the interesting, colorful people, we'll call them. And uh, it's just a party all the time. Like yesterday, for the first time in three days, we saw live, live performers taking over the whole street and they did a really, really good job. Safe travels from Ninja. All right, guys. So thanks for all the hearts, and we will see you hopefully at the airport. If not, then at our next destination. Bye.